Once upon a time, in a quaint village nestled between rolling hills and lush green fields, there lived a girl named Alara. The countryside was her playground, and the world around her was painted with the vibrant colors of nature. But what made Alara truly special was her long, flowing hair that cascaded down her back like a golden waterfall. It shimmered in the sunlight, catching the eyes of everyone who passed by. Alara loved her hair more than anything else. She would spend hours each day braiding it, weaving wildflowers into the strands, and letting it dance in the gentle breeze. Her hair was not just a part of her, it was a reflection of her spirit, free, wild, and untamed. The villagers often said that her hair had a magic of its own, for it seemed to carry the whispers of the wind and the laughter of the streams. One summer afternoon, while wandering through a meadow, Alara stumbled upon a hidden glade. In the center stood a majestic willow tree, its branches swaying gracefully as if beckoning her closer. Curious, Alara approached and noticed a small, glimmering pool at the base of the tree. As she leaned down to look, she saw her reflection staring back at her, but something was different. The pool shimmered with an ethereal light, and for a moment she felt a connection to something greater. As she gazed into the water, a voice, soft and melodic, filled the air. Alara, guardian of the golden tresses, your love for your hair has awakened the magic of this glade, but with beauty comes a choice. Startled, Alara looked around but saw no one. Who are you? She called out. I am the spirit of the willow, the voice replied, and I offer you a gift. You may keep your hair as it is, or you may choose to give it up to gain a deeper connection with nature. With this sacrifice, you will be able to communicate with the creatures of the forest and understand the language of the winds. Alara's heart raced. The thought of losing her beloved hair was painful, yet the allure of a deeper bond with nature called to her. She thought of the times she had felt lonely, wandering the fields with only the whispers of the grass for company. What if she could speak to the animals, learn their secrets, and dance with the winds? After a moment of contemplation, Alara made her choice. I choose to give up my hair, she declared, her voice steady despite the tremor in her heart. The glade shimmered with light as the spirit of the willow smiled upon her. So be it, the voice said. Your hair will become part of the earth, and in return, you will gain the gift of understanding. As Alara closed her eyes, she felt a gentle tug at her hair, and then a warm breeze enveloped her. When she opened her eyes again, her hair had transformed into a cascade of golden leaves, fluttering gracefully in the wind. Though she could no longer feel the weight of her long hair, she felt lighter, as if she had shed more than just her locks. From that day forward, Alara roamed the countryside, her spirit intertwined with the earth. She could hear the songs of the birds, the whispers of the trees, and the laughter of the streams. The animals became her friends, and she learned their tales of joy and sorrow. The village marveled at the girl who could speak to nature, and her heart swelled with a sense of belonging she had never known. Though she missed the feel of her hair, Alara realized that she had gained something far more precious. She had become a part of the world around her, a guardian of the glade, and a voice for the voiceless. And as the seasons changed, the golden leaves that once were her hair danced in the wind, telling stories of a girl who loved deeply and chose to share her beauty with the world. And so, Alara lived happily ever after, a testament to the magic that exists when one embraces change and follows the